Hey everybody and welcome to Adventures with Peps today. I could not get volume one of the Justice Department archives for the price that I'm willing to pay. So we're going to move on to the next book in my collection, which is this, The Judge Dread Companion, completed, oh, compiled sorry, by Mark Gasconi. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Games Workshop from the 1980s. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's hardback. It is, of course, for the Judge Dread role-playing game, which I have opened in a previous video, so go find it. It is an old book, so it's got a few dents, but nothing scary. This is in really good condition. I'm just enjoying this. It's so pretty looking. Uh, obviously, uh, compiled by Mark, then there's other contributors, as you can see down there. We got some thanks going out. And the cover art is copyrighted in 1987. Wow. This, I would have been, I'm trying to think, about four years old back then. So this is not a young book. Inside, we are going to get. You can do what? This year, make it Britsit. Statistically speaking, ready when you are. I never saw it before, Judge Honest. It's tough on the peds. On the beat, the crazy file. Speed kills, faster than speed and hover pad. <gasps> There's so much. Block out, repo man, downtown, the shuggy files. Laughs on you, a punny mortel. I ain't afraid of no ghosts, creep. Channel 9 crime time special. Fear and loathing in Mega City 1. And then a handout section. So this book ultimately collected stuff that was in The White Dwarf at the time that this was popular. We're going to slowly work our way through it, and hopefully we'll find some fun stuff. You can do what? A special new abilities for experienced judges. So your judge has been on the streets for a while now. He's gained a lot of skills. Now he's got some interesting new ones. So initiative-based abilities you can now leap onto or between vehicles. You can recover quickly, and you can have a special break fall. So you could probably fall from a higher height. Oh, there you go. Break full, and then there was the special. And then there was two heads. The judge with this ability has two heads. He will be denounced as a mutant and exiled from the city. Aww. Now they're using it as an excuse to get rid of your experience, judge. In my mind, that then opens you up to go into the cursed earth and be a cursed earth <laughs> desperado judge, which sounds even more interesting to me. Combat skill, there's then fast aim, follow moving target, leap into combat, painful strike, precise throw, strong strike. That is quite fun. Drive skills, only two new ones here. You get the Lawmaster Wheelie. <laughs> um, it allows the judge to jerk his or her Lawmaster onto a back wheel and drive along. Not entirely sure why you would want to do that. I guess you could use it as a form of attack. Uh, avoid shots whilst driving. Tech skills, you then... There's a lot of tech skills, six. Uh, assess, you can assess technology. Open locks, recognize vital spot, robot knowledge, special sector knowledge, and spot hidden item. Then after the tech skills come some new medical ones. You could hypnotize someone, incapacitate. That's a good one for a med judge. Uh, resist disease. Street abilities, discourage perp, hide and sneak, get a little sneaky, pursue, uh, sense aim, oh that's a clever one, size then get hypnotized, mind wipe, and suggestion. I really like these. I can imagine in a long campaign, when your judges are really starting to stack up the skills and going after even bigger villains, some of these would be real good. Um... What else we got? We got notes, abilities for citizens. Oh, finally. The following of these new special abilities are available slightly modified to citizens. So it goes through them all, talks about which ones they could have. Then we're into the next article that's all about Britsit. Now, I'm not going to go crazy into this. Reason is, I'm going to steal this for my blog. And probably lift a few things out of here. Move it over to the blog. So I'll just hold it up here. It's got glossary terms, talks about pomp, entertainment, shopping, scenery, weather, and culture. That's a cool little article. 
statistically speaking then comes in. So the next two pages, statistically speaking, ready when you are, was uh, kind of a revision to the first edition rules because they noticed there were definite issues with it. The big one, statistically speaking, was the fact that most citizens could be a newly formed judge in a fight. Comical, I know, but that was the way it was set up. So they changed how your strength was created because you could get one to three was the initial way of getting them. Uh, if you got one, it made you better at being a Psy, but you know, this was not a great system. If you had a strength one judge, they were very likely to get in trouble. So with this, you have a stronger judge who could hopefully actually handle himself in combat. Uh, they then, because of this, had to change some strength for the characters. So Judge Dread went up, Hershey went up, Sleever, the Dark Judges, and all the Angel game. Uh, we then got a revised combat system, which was quite nice. So you got some bonuses or negatives, depending on what you were doing. And then they gave, finally, this was something that I thought was missing in the RPG. They gave you a starter mission, a proper starter mission. So it's just a warehouse raid. You need a couple of inexperienced judges and they take on a little group that's hanging out in a bite pit arena. It's a nice, easy mission. There's nothing too crazy about it. I would love to try that out at some point. Maybe I'll uh, take a photo of this and send it to one of my Discord members who's looking at doing some RPG in with us. Maybe that could be a good starter action for him. And then we move into I never saw it before, Judge Honest. So Mega City 1 Criminal Code, Section 59D, a judge may enter a citizen's dwelling place to carry out a routine investigation they have no rights in the matter so you've gone in you roll a dice and you can see what you've found kind of scenario it's a nice little general uh not general why can i not think what i'm trying to say i've been drinking all weekend i'm in recovery mode uh generate what you find inside the the room of the pup you're not always going to find something, but in case you did and you needed a random thing, your, your GM could roll this up. It's tough on the pedways. So this was more excerpts from the upcoming unofficial judge's handbook to cut out and collect from ace reporter Mick McGovern. Talks about the law rod. Very nice. I like these. Hopefully I can uh, maybe steal this for my blog. And on the beat, before you get started, you will need to generate a brand new judge character. Oh, this is amazing. Sorry, I had to pause there to have a quick read. So basically, we had two pages back there that were for introducing inexperienced judges to the game, making them stronger and what have you. Uh, this one is purely like a choose your own adventure, which is so cool. So you generate a judge, you start at one, and then you work your way through it but it's not numbered by number. So depending on what you pick, you go to that section, read it, jump back and forth. It will ask you to roll against the abilities you've made. Now, I'm very interested in that. I think we have a video here based purely off this. So I'm not going to go in depth on this at all. I'm not even going to read it myself. I read the opening paragraph and you know what? We're doing a video on this, so expect that soon. Oh, I could roll up a judge. We could do the whole steps together and we'll play through this campaign. That could be so much fun. Then we get The Crazy Files, a trip through the backwater of crime files. Botting, Tasto Burgers, Home Simping, oh, Gaxters. This is going to be a fun read. Um, once again, I'm probably going to steal this for the blog. But uh, what we got? And blotting is the vast majority of jobs are performed by robots and droids. It was only a matter of time before the unemployment gets in the way of everyone. So people were going around pretending to be a robot. So this is human stress as robots. That could be fun to make a model of. Up next is the Tasto Burgers created by a fatty called Carter Floyd who was trying to take over the munch empire or steaks of burgers. Steaks of burgers, that's quite a weird sentence. Ultimately, 
he pretended his burgers tasted better than the competitions due to him scientifically doing something to make them better. When in fact, he was just illegally growing garlic out in the cursed earth and flavoring his food with actual food. Who'd have thought actual food tastes better than scientifically made food? Dun dun dun. Then we have home simping. If uh, the taste of burger scandal wasn't enough, people started trying to make their own, <laughs> their own food, drink, or whatever. They were copying everything. They're buying science kits and attempting to create their own food at home. That obviously did not go well for anyone. <laughs> so gangsters, this one's so silly. Um, it's basically cosplay. It was a craze where you read something, it usually affected comic book readers, which comic books are illegal in Mega City One, but uh, ultimately they broke down and wanted to become the characters in the story, so people would think they're wizards or werewolves or vampires, or even Judge Dredd, depending on what they're reading, and it obviously did not end out well. Did not end out well at all. That was a fun article. Um, speed kills. We get roadmaps, how to design roads. This is new. Never seen anything like it. Uh, the road, you get Megway, tells you what's coming off the Megway. Pipeways, filters, back streets, traffic. How is the traffic? What speed it should be moving at? This is very GM heavy article. Mm, doing speed checks, control loss, piles. Wow. Aggressive driving, accidental collisions, pile ups. This is a GM's joy if you're uh, taken to the roads in your story. And then we get a little bit about build your own vigilante or superhero. Hopefully we're getting some soon from Warlord Games. I've seen a model being shown off a few times. Not entirely sure when it's coming out. Really should come out soon though. It's about time we had one. But it shows you how to design one, pick what stats they might have, do they have special powers or devices? Sample superheroes, some uh, adventure ideas. Maybe you can actually play out as a superhero. That'd be fun. Then we are into block out, which was a little... Um, I remember this being in a white dwarf. I never found the white dwarf though, or at least I've never found it complete. It was a freeway game where you had to block each other and you had to climb the tower and pull the other opponents off the tower. So the three of them were sat here, and then you had the pigs and the wally. Basically, they fought their way up to the top. Now, this is actually for use in the RPG, but I remember this being in a white dwarf, and you could cut out pieces and stuff. I'm a little bit disappointed it's not that, because it is the full rules, unless... Hang on. Let's not start jumping to conclusions, because what's the chances it's probably in the back here? It's in the back here, look, there you go, you print off that page. Some equipment, there's your little tokens. Some more tokens, okay. I, I forgive you, whoever wrote this in the 80s. I did not realise it was going to be at the back when I started complaining. It shows you how to play it. Then we got, how would you say that? Is that Repro, Repro Man? I think that's meant to be a P. A little bit hard to say. Uh, a Code 14 investigation for one to three judges. Oh, it's just a one page adventure. So it just gives information for the GM to make up his own adventure. Then we get Downtown. Let's, I wonder if this is meant to be the lowdown of 2000 AD. I wonder if this was like an early version of it. Uh, you've just been transferred to the downtown squad. A tour of duty every judge in the sector has to complete. You've heard rumours of downtown already about how a group of three senior judges responded to a call and were never heard of again. There's also a mutant known only as the Gleek who stalks the north side. So it's a new section of a sector. You get to play through that adventure. As you can see, there's so much. It's a lot of fluff in there as well. Like, this is all story. That's, what, three... 
judges introduction yeah so that's purely the introduction nearly four pages one two three yeah basically four pages of introduction a tiny couple of paragraphs on for the gm talks a bit about the criminal hierarchy of downtown some adventures that ideas you can go through i'll have a read of that in a minute a selection of characters that you probably find down there then we get all their stats we get a picture of a block that is a cool block i really like that that looks so cool uh, oh my god there's more blocks we then got gibson finkelbaum moorcock pat moore and that was baz faulty <laughs> so faulty towers downtown map shows you the big blocks on here and then it has a couple of just squared off smaller buildings that you're not really going to pay any attention to. So that was a good little article. Then we get the Shuggy files. So that's the game of Snooker. This will definitely make its way over onto the blog. I love the idea. I have a Shuggy Hall in my sector. It's the main area that the judges get info from that's where the narcs probably all hang out it's where the gangs all hang out uh when i start actually talking about my sector more often it's going to be introduced to you by angles who is the owner of the shuggy hall uh laughs on you a punny more puny mortal punny <laughs> i cannot read for crap guys i'm sorry Talks about creating a powerful cursed earth mutant because obviously they're not all weak. Some of them are going to have skills that have allowed them to rise to the top. And these are some of the mutations that will probably help him do it or her. Talks about skills, creating adventure ideas. Ain't afraid of no ghosts. That looks like. Oh, how cool. I've only ever seen these in a collected story of Judge Dredd, uh, Judge Anderson stories. It's the Exorcist Judge. So they're a special branch of the side division that deal with just demonic entities. It's a shame they use the same image twice, eh? But it looks like we have the ability to make them. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this if you're starting out with the game. But how friggin' cool. Get things like detect psychic presence. Exercise, psychic force, hold force, identify, protection, get special equipment. So, so cool. That's a model we'll probably never get from Warlord Games as an exorcist judge. But I do like the idea of it. Then there is a special unit you can call in if needed. Uh, supernatural opponents. Look at this. You get deity. He's going to be strong as hell. Uh, demons, the devil. Or a devil, I guess. Ghosts. <laughs> what a fun little article. I did not know any of this was in here. I've had this book probably 10 plus years, maybe even longer. I've never actually proper looked for it. It's one of those things. I put it on my shelf to display it. And then life moved on. Uh, we then get Channel 9 Crime Time Special. Full scale investigation for a new team of judges. Get this crazy looking map. No idea what's going on here. Lots of blocks in the area. Uh, dealing with a bite fight. Deaf Dinosaurs Gang. Oh, organization of norm punks known to operate around slough towers. Opposed to all other juve gangs. Known offenses include tapping, a stucky glanding, and mass murder. Very violent. That's so cool. So they run the big bite fight. We've got some stats for probably characters, or named villains, I should say. There's a traffic section. This probably brings in all the rules that we've read up to this point. We've got some old people. A uh, statue of Uncle Don. So we're obviously driving around, going to somewhere. There's security guard stats, hitmen stats. Sorry, I'm not reading in depth. Otherwise, this video is going to be super long. It already is. There's so much going on. There's a werewolf. What? <laughs> a map of a laundrette. What is going on in this adventure? I'm loving it. Uh, what do we got? There's so much going on. 
I'm going to have to have a proper in-depth read of this. If you want me to go over anything in particular, do reach out. Tell me what bit took your interest. I'll have a proper read. If I can make it into a video, I will. If not, I'll just reply in the comments. Fear and loathing in Mega City 1. A full scale of investigation of experienced judges. So you've, you've made a... Your judge has took the interest of a journalist and is getting investigated. And that's a whole campaign again. Wow, this is like an amazing GM thing. The Docklands, Black Atlantic. I'm going to have to read that because my little sector does go on to the Black Atlantic. So if there's something useful there, I want to know about it. Uh, what we got, the Reverend Jim Jones, gang leader, driver. This, if you're a GM and you've got any interest in any of this, do, do reach out. I'm happy to take the chats to private or we'll share it in the comments section. We can chat over anything you want to know a bit more about. It just goes on. Look at this. This is a massive campaign. Wow. Didn't expect, oh god, there's giant, oh it's set Central Park, underground lake, so you also go underground. Looks like there's a race route in the Undercity. Spike Harvey Rotten turns up, there is a section about actually driving and racing. Oh there's a whole, this is just like the rest of the book. Oh, what a way to end, look at that. Judge Death getting blown out of some poor perp's body. And then we get the Channel 9 crime special handouts. That's part of that section. Obviously, I am never cutting them out. And then we have the game that was in here. Once again, if I ever want to use it, I will just scan them. And then this also seems to be part of campaign. So yeah, there you go. Sorry, this was a bit of a longer, longer review. So much in it. It is a decent sized book. The last few books, there wasn't actually much info in those last books, which is why I'm unwilling to spend like $100 to get the last one. But this, if you can find this anywhere, grab it, grab it, treat yourself. It's beautiful hardback edition. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. I know these are a bit random and... Not as informative as they could be, as I've not fully read them. But drop me a comment, let me know if you want to know something. I'm happy to share. And until next time, buh-boy!